Okay, um, this is about dusting, and I'm just going to speak to it really quickly. This is your misting port, which if you're not misting, you're putting in powder in. Um, obviously, you're going to want this to be really dry. Dry it out. This comes off. The instructions are very clear on how to put the insert into the tank and how to attach the large bore hose big enough for powder to go through down to here. This kind of, you know, you're looking at this and you go, am I going to break it? So that's why I'm talking about it right now. Um, that curls up and you just got to give it a good tug and then it pulls out like a cork and you don't lose it, okay? If you look inside, you'll see a baffle plate. Come on, baffle plate, focus up. There you go, baffle plate. And this handle opens and closes, and that's gonna regulate the volume of powder that's gonna go charging down the line. Your, your, your gun is going to make a difference for how much air and how thick it goes on, but this appears to be the a key decision maker and I'm leaving it closed for starters and putting the cork back in, in cork, and I'm rolling this. I like this, this cap, by the way. Now you're going to say, well, that cap's kind of unique. You know, honestly, if you go to some place and you need a cork, buy a rubber cork and just measure the inside bore and you stuff a cork in there. I'm sure they're around for parts, but if you're lazy like me, you're just going to get yourself a cork, even a wooden cork would work so anyway that's uh i haven't named it yet um maybe um manitou or windigo i don't know i gotta give it a name talk to you later toodles okay there's a time and a place where these connections that go onto the tank this fitting here and this fitting here, you're going to remove and replace them. Cool. The thing is, you find they're really difficult to get off. What you need to do, I mean, like right now, if I'm trying to turn it, it's binding up against the rubber hose. Okay, you don't want to mess up the hose. What you do is you have to, if you loosen the clamp, it's easy peasy. So just, there's your tip. Loosen the clamp before you take this off. And then when you put it back on again, don't forget to tighten the clamp. All right, tighten the clamp again. And don't get carried away. And like I said, I'm using the Magic Number 9, which is for me probably 9 inch pounds. I forget. Anyway, I can't do two things at once. So um, the other thing is, if you are wondering, I'm sure you're really wondering. I should be using a tripod, right? Someone's going to tell me I should use the tripod. I'm going to put the phone down for a minute. The phone is down. The phone is down. Let's see together. Yes. This is a bona fide scrunch. <laughs> it also is your spark plug tool. What's really important is not only is the scrunch your spark plug tool. They don't give you a spare spark plug, but don't sweat it. Um, I would probably just buy one and have it in your kit. When you take this off, there's a time and a place. It's in the in manual. Don't lose the manual. You'll see that this hose connects onto here, and if I can get a clear shot of black on black, there you go. You'll see it's keyed. It's um, it's a hex, whoopee. You need this tool because this tool does something with this in there because you can see the internal threads. So you reverse it, and I think what it is is a um, a one-way flow valve. Air moves one way or air moves the other way. So you need the uh, scrunch for that. Screwdriver wrench. Except since everything on here is cross point Phillips, they gave you a Phillips, which was thoughtful.
Okay, that's it. Um, if you're wondering how the tank pressurizes itself, you'll see this um, takeoff coming off the main blower assembly and it goes up and in. And you're like, well, what keeps the fluid from just going down there? These people are really smart. The filler cap is also a strainer. That's a big deal. Um, I use filters on most of my equipment. Having a pre-filter right up here is nice. But if you look inside, there's the tube. It attaches down to where it came in, that compressed air. That compressed air comes out the very top. You've got this little snorkel thing. And that's where the compressed air is coming into and pressurizing the tank. So that's how they did it. Uh, it's a good reason not to overfill the tank. Uh, you just don't really want to risk, you know, fouling that. But that's how it pressurizes. That's also why, be gentle to this seal. Uh, you've got a seal all the way around. Also, if it's pressurized, you know, you've been using it for a while, be careful when you take the cap off because as you consume material in here, you're going to have a bigger volume of compressed air. I can't imagine that's going to be dangerous, but it could be really annoying. So just crack it gently. All right, so much for that. I'm exploring still.